Today we are going to do a very quick tutorial on sensitivity analysis with Nash Trans Solution 200. My name is Christian Aparicio. If you have any questions regarding Nash Trans Solution 200 or optimization, you're welcome to contact me at this email address. Today we are going to be using the Nash Trans Solution 200 web app. So if you want access to this web app also, uh, feel free to also contact me and I'll get back to you with details on how to connect or access the web app. Now, earlier, or rather in the tutorial section, you'll find a very elaborate tutorial on sensitivity analysis with Nash Trans Solution 200. Now, this tutorial was created more than a year ago, so I thought it would be a good opportunity for me to go ahead and redo this tutorial. Now, you may have seen some of my other tutorials where I got gone ahead and uh, created this example. Let me go ahead and scroll down. So this is the plot. So just to give you a definition of sensitivity analysis, it's basically the process of finding the gradient for a specific uh, objective equation or equation constraint. So here we're going to be starting at this initial point that you see in orange. We're going to go in and find the gradient uh, for f. So here the purple surface plot is this objective function f. Again, sensitivity analysis is the process of finding the gradients uh, of an equation with respect to your design variables. So if you click on the video description below, you'll find a link to this tutorial that you can download and use to follow along. Now, let's go ahead and start the process by opening the web app and navigating to the size app. Let's go ahead and upload our solution files that we've already created before. I have already gone ahead and defined my equation objective and my equation constraints. I've gone ahead and configured my design variables with initial values of 3, 4. Remember, sensitivity analysis is the process of finding the gradients of your equations with respect to your design variables. Now, apart from equations, you could have other quantities. Weight, for example. If you want to find the sensitivity of weight with respect to, say, the thickness of a plate or a shell, you can do that with sensitivity analysis. So here, after you're done developing your variables, your objective, and your constraints, if you navigate to the settings section and you mark the checkbox here for sensitivity analysis, this allows you to perform uh, the grading computation. So let's go ahead and go to the exporter and download a zip file. This zip file We'll go ahead and extract. Uh, let's first confirm we want to keep the zip file. And let's go ahead and give it a different name. So after we're done extracting the contents, we'll go ahead and double click the icon inside so we can start Nastran and perform our sensitivity analysis. Now in the video here, I go into more detail regarding this example. Uh, this one is, this video I'm doing right now is just meant to be very brief. Uh, I recommend you watch this video if you want more information on the exact details and sensitivity analysis. Uh, here, let's go ahead and start the sensitivity analysis. And this is what we expect to find for our gradients. Uh, the partial of F with respect to X1 should be 6. The partial of G1 with respect to X1 should be 6. The partial of G2 with respect to G1 should be 1. And here we have the quantities for the function with respect to X2, A2, and 1.25. Now, I should point out that in this tutorial, we are using variables of X1 and X2. In the example I'm doing today, we're using variables Y1 and Y2. So just in case there are any questions regarding that, uh, there you go. Now, after you perform the optimization, you get the status page, you get the confirmation it's completed, then you get this automatic plot over sensitivity. So now let's go ahead and look at what's going on. Now, 
let's go ahead and plot R0 and Y1 here. So you might be asking, what is R0? If you look back in the web app, we have a label, R0. This sensitivity value you see here is R0, the partial of R0 with respect to Y1. So that would be the first partial derivative of value of 6. Now, what is the partial derivative of the equation objective with respect to Y2? So here again, the equation objective in the web app is R0, and the second variable is Y2. So let's go ahead and turn on Y2. And here I'll show the different sensitivities. So this next value, the partial derivative of R0 with respect to Y2, we get a value of 8. So that would be this value you see here in the bottom left-hand corner. Now what about G1 with respect to X1? So here we'll go ahead and... Uh, R1 with respect to Y1 and Y2. So here we get a value of 6 and 2, 6 and 2, and we should get a value of 1 and 1.25 here for the next two. So R2 with respect to Y1 is 1, and then Y2, the value, the partial derivative of R2 with respect to Y2 is 1.25. So that's what you see here. So there you have it. Uh, these are the sensitivities for your functions with respect to your design variables. It's as simple as marking a checkbox here. Again, you might want to use a sensitivity analysis to identify which design variables should be included in your optimization. Uh, you might have thousands of design variables, but maybe only 20 have sensitivities. So maybe those 20 should be included, whereas the others probably should not. And that's what a sensitivity analysis can help you do. Now, again, this video was meant to be very short. If you want full details on sensitivity analysis, uh, I recommend watching this video called How to Perform a Sensitivity Analysis with Nastran. This video is over 15 minutes long, and I believe this one's a little bit under 7 minutes. Uh, with that, I'll go ahead and stop there, and thank you for watching.